Hello, everybody. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the, the post-pandemic creativities for publishers and it's Taiwan's perspective. Pubat and Taipei Book Fair Foundation have a long record of cooperation, though. On top of having collective stands at Bangkok International Book Fair for more than 10 consecutive years, twice Taiwan was our guest of honor. Our friendship is so strong and that the pandemic cannot separate us. This webinar provides and proof it, right? So I would like to thank Taipei Book Fair Foundation, Taiga and Pubat for making this possible. I hope uh, the sharing experience is fruitful for all the particip participants in ASEAN and around the world. Thank you. Hello, Hi. my name is Trasvin Chitti Desharak, Secretary General of ASEAN Book Publisher Association. I am your MC today. It's nice to have you with us. First, I would like to um, introduce our speakers. The first person is Mr. Robert Shin Min Lin, the chairman of the Taipei Book Fair Foundation. Hi, um, everybody. Good afternoon. Hi, Robert. Uh, hey, thank you. Robert, Robert graduated from Fujian University in Business Administrative and mar Marketing and Finance. And he earns an MBA from the, uh, the Asian Institute of Management. Yeah. Robert is the owner of Children Publications Company Limited. He has been serving the Taiwan publishing community since the early 90s. He was the executive director of the Association of Taipei Publishers and was the director of the Publisher Association of the Republic of China. Welcome you, Robert. Thank you. And our second speaker, Leo C.S. Lee. He is an expert in creative economy and culture technology. He is a director of Content Lab. And Taika is Taiwan Creative Content Agency. Leo held a master arts a uh, Master of Arts degree in Creative and Media Enterprise um, at, from the University of Warwick, UK. He is an expert on creative economy and culture technology. This is the first time I ever heard the word cultural technology, Leo. Um, before joining Taiga, Leo was an international consultant on creative economy for several UN agencies such as UNTAD and UNDP. Um, in a normal time, I will ask the floor to oppose both of you, but since we are online, so I think we just get started. So um, I would like to start with um, both speaker um, make the explain about their organization and their work for five minutes and then we will go on the discussion. Should we start with Robert first? Robert, please. I am, good afternoon. I'm Robert Dean from Taiwan and as the chairman of the Taipei Book Fair Foundation. And it's good to have uh, this kind of online discussion with all of you. And as you all might know, that uh, Taipei Book Fair has been 32 years already. So this year, unfortunately, because of the COVID-19 epidemic, so we, first of all, we postponed from the February to May, and unfortunately, finally canceled. But still, we have an online for all the book fair activities. So I think that serves to some extent to have all the people, they, the publisher or the readers, they still can have a chance to, to know what's happening and what, what they like to do. So I think we can, I can now also share you that uh, because of the pan pandemic of this year, Taiwan, I think more or less as the worldwide, all the publishing fear has been 
a strong impact because this uh, COVID-19. And I think uh, too far, so far, from Jan January to July, overall the publishing field has been, have a difficult time. And to my statistics, that uh, they shows that the bookstore is the, the much affect sector which they done the sales about 70 percent and but on the other way that's good that because of online marketing and business have been grow up about 90 percent so eventually all together the balance out is about 20 percent overall increase in taiwan for this year so far so that's i think it's a good contribute by attribute by the online marketing like the KOL or the online bookstore. And that's very important that the, when we change this so extraordinary happening. And in the future I'm I would say that it might become a normal situation for the publishing industry. And as I am the publisher of the children books. Unfortunately, uh, children books sector has been enjoying a good result so far. In case of my company, we have about 20% growth right up to now. And I know that there's some other sector or the comics or the use, young youth number or other things might have a quite big affection and they might down about 30% in terms of the bookstore sales. However, as I mentioned earlier, online marketing have been increased by about 40%. So even now, I would say that the overall steer, we enjoy a about 20% growth rate so far. And that's, I think, compared to other countries in the world, we really enjoy a good uh, result. And that's what I can share with you so far. Thank you. So we'll find it. More. <laughs> oh, It's Rodoid to come back. No, we cannot but, hear you. Uh, did you earlier I mentioned? Okay. Hello, can you hear us? Okay. Sorry, sorry for the the problem, um, technical problems. Um, yes, no problem. Now? Very clear. Uh huh. Um, could you please um, elaborate more about um, your organization, Robert? Okay. Uh, my company is called Children Publication for Limit, and we've been established for twenty five years. We are publishing about 20% is local free uh, picture books, and the other 7 to 80% is 
further rights because I was uh, with the time in all international big uh, publishing companies. So I have a good relationship with all, with all the publishing uh, group worldwide, like UK or US. So, so we do have enjoy a good business with all the international big uh, children publisher. And now we are also try to enhance the publishing of local create uh, picture books. And right now we also have a uh, about 30 titles for past three years. So eventually our it's a uh, every year we have a local I, I mean yes. Excuse excuse me Robert, I mean the Taipei Book Fair Foundations, um if you would like to speak a little okay, bit okay. on the foundation. Thank you. Good. Uh Taipei Book Fair Foundation has been uh, established for 32 years already. So th this year should be a 28th uh, anniversary for the foundation, uh, foundation and also for the International Book Fair. And we have quite good uh, enjoy the, because the history and the experience. We, we cooperate with so many like Brony and Fair in Frankfurt and also other international big book fair. And we have a few hundred countries uh, that participate in our international book fair. And every year we have a participant from local readers and also about more than 500,000 people participate. And we enjoy it with a good result. And Maybe all you know that the Taipei Book Fair is a some kind of combination fair, which means that twenty percent or thirty percent is the right sales. The other mm -hmm. seven or eighty percent is the book sales. And that's good for the international publisher because they can sell their rights to the Taiwan publisher. In the other hand, the local people can really enjoy and take this opportunity to buy the books during the book fair and all the publishers during the book fair, they are offer a very good uh, discount or some kind of special promotion scheme. So people really uh, enjoy this some kind of book carnival and or book festival. And the government also support us very much. And also the international organization like a God institution from Germany or UK, or Thailand was participate very activity. So we really hope that this kind of situation will continue in the future, even though we have a COVID-19 epidemic this year, but uh, we are expecting that next year we still can continue this. And especially we are expecting more country uh, coming from ASEAN country to participate in our international book fair. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's turn to, to Leo. Um, Leo, could you tell us more about um, Taika and the Content Lab, please? Yes, no problem. Okay, good afternoon to the readers all over the world. Uh, my name is Leo. I'm the director of Taika Content Lab. It is my pleasure to join these webinars. And first of all, I would like to introduce my organization, Taika. Taika is the abbreviation of Taiwan Creative Content Agencies, established in June 2019 and supervised by the Minister of Culture. It is a professional intermediary organization that promotes the development of Taiwan's content industries. Taika supports various cultural content industries in Taiwan, including the film, television, pop music, HCG, fashion, at work, cultural technologies, and of course, most importantly, the publishing. With the advanced information and communication technology infrastructure and emerging technologies in Taiwan, Taika managed National Development Fund to develop intellectual property IPs and it incubate cultural technologies and facilitate startups. Through the international distribution channels, Taika strives to promote Taiwan's cultural brand in the world. Taiwan enhance Taiwan's cultural content industries and create new value for Taiwan's national brand. The department which I supervise, Content Lab, 
is committed to supporting content development and commercialization with local elements and local creators. The Content Lab also uses emerging technologies such as VR, AR, blockchain, 5G connectivity to accelerate the future content development and manage a cultural technology hub to integrate hardware and software, explore new business models and form international strategy alliance. From Taika's point of view, story is the source of cultural content and publishing industry, of course, is in the center of the culture and content industries. Being the most dramatic and free country in the Chinese speaking world today, Taiwan enjoys the complete freedom of speech and thought, which are reflected by rich and diverse publications in the publishing industries. Creativity and stories can only be conceived on the land of freedom. This is what we believe, and I think is Taiwan's most best advantages. And after the martial art was lived more than 30 years ago, the publishing industry in Taiwan has been booming. Most of the publishers in Taiwan are small and medium-sized enterprises, meaning that their operation can stay flexible. However, they rely mostly on the democratic market. When large-scale digital transformation or overseas market expansion and deployment are needed, they are in want of funding and talents. For those small and medium-sized publishers, that need to undertake digital transformation and address changes of reading behaviors over time. Taika integrate the resources in providing training to new skill of human resources, facilitate the industry transformation, consolidating of IP intellectual property rights, and to diverse the funding sources. For the largest scale enterprises, could better respond to the need of digital transformations like media strategies and operation of social medias, the Taika cooperate with publishers to promote the Taiwan publication overseas to IP showcase at exhibitions, including book exhibitions and film exhibitions and trade shows relating to book, film, or other audiovisual sectors. Taika work with the local distribution channels to expand exposure of Taiwan publication overseas so to enable more exchange between Taiwan publication and to the world. In conclusion, Taika's strategy plan for the publication industry has three dimensions, internationalizations, and industrializations, and integrations. Uh, we can see the Taika's publishing industry strategy plan. We have three focal, uh, strategic focus. Uh, for the internationalizations, our objectives is to strengthen the tra translation qualities and to expand the overseas market and the distribution channels. For the internationalizations, our objectives is to increase the publication scales and to create the stability business potentials. For the integrations, we are objectives is to uh, encourage the future storytelling and the single source and multi-purpose use and the digital transformations. Besides this, Taika also provides some assistant mechanisms. For example, we have the Taika School, which provides cultivating intermediary talents in different uh, actors and skills. We also upgrade some uh, practical business information. For example, we update the publishing industry survey and publishing new publication every year. This is what uh, Taika is doing for the promotion publishing industries so far. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Um, Leo, Leo, um, you said that um, the the um, for the Taika School. Um, can you elaborate that bit more, please? Yes, no problem. Yeah, uh, Taika School is one of the uh, strategic plan in uh, Taika's uh, all the overall organizations, and in this uh, Taika School. We try to find out what is the industry's uh, lake and what is need from the industries. So, for example, most of the small and medium-sized enterprises in the cultural industries, most of them they are lack of, uh, for example, the financial skills. They lack of the le uh, intellectual property uh, protection uh, knowledges, or they lack of the managing uh, for the organization's skills. 
So we will provide those uh, skill and all those the lessons to provide for those uh, persons or practitioners who are working in the uh, creative industries. And we're also trying to cooperate with the different kind of international organizations to create, a, for example, the master class to invite the uh, experts from overseas to give us the overview of the insight from the industries. And this for third, what I've been saying about the cultural technology or the future, what we call the future contents, we also encourage the, the person working in the culture sector to knowing more and em emerging technologies. So they will be able to know what is the a technology that's capable to apply to the uh, cultural industries. We are not suggesting to have to use all the new technology. For example, some technology, they are not uh, already ready, for example, in the developing countries. But we try to understand what is latest trend. This is what Taika's, uh, Taika School is uh, planning. Uh, I see. And will you allow sort of the international students? Uh, oh, this so is far, really for Taiwanese only. Yeah, uh, so far the class is still for the domestic market only. But in the future, we, did, we indeed, we are thinking to cooperate with some other international uh, intermediate organizations. So maybe in the future, we'll uh, start as an international class with uh, different countries. And we are welcome to have all different proposals to cooperate with us. That, that's very in interesting. That, that's a kind of excellent idea. Um, but but um, let me go back to Robert a little bit. That um, if if we stop session this part at here, Robert, what do you think that the post pandemic time? Um, what will the publishing in the post pandemic time will be sustainable or change? Or you have to move closer and work with Taika School and have a new training for publishers? Yeah, because uh, now new technology have been, uh, you know, changing so dramatically. So in individual publishing house, big or mm -hmm. smaller, I think we face it fast changes in which the most important key is the technology. So I think individual company doesn't have a good resources or the technology a person who so who accomplished by themselves. So I think Taika, the setup of this Taika for last year, from last year, I think will be help us a lot. And we will send staff for we will come out some suggestion and to have a, some special section or training classroom and we can send the staff for all the industry can have join together and we can share the experience and also use the new technology to improve the whole publishing industry in Taiwan. And also, I think in the near future, the Taiwan publishing industry will try to expand our market instead of domestic. The plan or the strategy will be, be more for international market, right sales or book sales. And that's really what we are looking forward to. Great. Um, but but what, what kind of, if I may ask, what kind of um, technology beside e-books and that kind of thing you would, okay. you know, uh, you would, you could, Interestingly, people always doubt that the during this uh, uh, COVID-19 epidemic, really the digital digital publishing were increased sales mm -hmm. or not. And thus, yesterday I asked the major uh, digital publishing company, they say, always the same, even there's no any impact for the digital publishing. And that's interesting. Uh -huh. But overall, still, year by year, they are, the digital publishing business are growing by a 10% or to 20%. But that mm -hmm. would still not be enough. And so I think maybe we are now, for example, our company, 
this year, the bookstore have been the sales down about forty percent. However, we have used the online marketing, for example, the uh, book com in Taiwan, the biggest uh, online sales company, and also where the impressive is that uh, we have a KOL which uh, they do special project for us and online and we sell 3,000 set within a month and overall from January to July our online sales were increased increased about 90% so that's very uh, fortunate and very impressive so uh, Overall, I would say most of the company in Taiwan, especially like children books or worldwide, I think in the future, use the online marketing will be become a normal and will a must. So I would suggest all the publishing house will try to improve mm -hmm. all the trend of stuff on this part of the marketing area for using the new technology right, to help to expand our market or for more our new product let's see Thank you. Uh, i think i think we envy you <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> maybe um, we are watching. Leo, yeah um leo um and which which way do you think uh, besides what robert just said that technology would would serve publish publishers and publishing industry in in from your experience and on your scope of work. Yes, uh, I don't know if I can. Is it possible that we can switch to one of my slides now? No, okay, no problem. I will just share uh, one of the publication from the Frankfurt Book Affairs, uh, which already I would like to share these numbers. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, while we're talking about the technology. I think it's more than just turning the hard copy books into electronic mm -hmm. copies. It's not like that. As technology advanced, I think the mobile connection become more convenient and reader, reading these things is no longer limited to the form of contents. We are encouraging technology to change how we experience the content. For example, uh, I would like to quote some numbers from the uh, latest uh, white, pu white paper published by the Frankfurt Book Fair. A title is called E-Reading Experience and Global Business Opportunities. Okay, The mm -hmm. report shows the global audio book market is established to reach 3.5 billion US dollars in 2020, with a total mm -hmm. over 1 billion consumers. Okay, So that's the reason explain why the podcast is become very, very popular these days. So okay. it's not because yeah, the text will holding a book or become a a platform we are reading, not become lessening the contents. Okay, so you have to use the technology help to change experience and change the form to experience the content. It will be the critical point uh, for us to think about the technologies. I see. Thank you. And um, but but in the developing country, you know where the the infrastructure is a challenge. What what kind of corporations that Tiger would able to sort of support this exchange and then corporations? Uh, I mean, I audio book is sim simple, but um, sorry, please. Go ahead. No, no problem. Yeah, I think first thing is maybe we can have more this kind of webinars. So the Tiger uh -huh. or the Tiger Foundation or more other Taiwanese uh, organizations will be able to share our experience of how to apply the technology to the content industries. For example, uh, the Ministry of Culture of Taiwan has already launched a new uh, subsidies to encourage cultural content using the technology education sectors. And I can give you one example. For example, uh, in, I think, I think in two or three years, years ago, there's, there's a original fantasy novel, Taiwan. Taiwan. It's, 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 it's called the Lost World. 
and this and this is of this original original copy to react react upon the upon the publication and our and our Taiwan's uh, uh, overseas uh, distribution channels. channels for the first for episode, 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 episode so so in the in the attack text but in the in the second in the third episode, episode, episode he already he already pick up the government as a substitute so we so we buy some some preparation and found them for that so they so they will come content already just chat to be our work and not and only, only the government the government providing the funding, the funding. The government but also, also are cooperating with some technology companies. So with the full review of technology, now it becomes a theoretical uh, experience, uh, experience uh, of content. Uh, content. And this is and what this the Taiwanese government can do. We not only provide the fundings, we also to match matching the technology company to the content original providers. So to create a new form of experience, this is what Taiwanese government is doing. And I think if we can have these opportunities, the Taiwan or Kaika will be able to share more of our policies or more of our uh, successful case to the developing countries. And I think we'll be very more than happy to provide this kind of technology, technical cooperations to the developing countries. This is what Taiwan is advantage and uh, as a citizen of the world, uh, villages will be happy to provide this kind of help. Uh -huh. Great, thank you. Um, and um, for Robert, do you think what is the opportunity of Taiwan and ASEAN publishers in the forthcoming year? Yes, uh, before that, I was at some point that, uh, regarding about the DO7 earlier. I think, yes, the audio work market is increasing worldwide, especially Taiwan also. But the, the most important is for children picture books or children publishing. What we did is that uh, a add on a talking pen, which use the new technology with a pen. We, you, when you touch the page and the voice come out mm -hmm. by itself. And that's mm -hmm. uh, very much welcomed by the parents and the kids. So I think it's a, it became a very popular technology that using the talking pen or have a recording the audio songs. So the parents or the teacher or the kids can read or listen the pronunciation or the content by themselves. And that's become the most popular uh, books which we have. So this year we actually launched two series. So one series is a novel graphic with the token pen, and the other one is a non uh, fiction, which is science for age group of three to seven. And we sell, mm -hmm. as I mentioned earlier, uh, six books in the site, and we sold our three thousand seven within one month. So that's really wow. uh, help us. Hey. So I uh -huh. think uh, the government or the information uh, bureau also try to cooperate and coordinate all the manufacturing company to produce a more effective and cheaper token pen. That's I think is very important. And I would say that in the future we can use this technology to expand the market to Thailand or Vietnam or Indonesia. And I was mm -hmm. expecting that uh, because actually in Taiwan, we also have uh, the government try very hard to have a Thai uh, pronunciation or Thai language with the local people because we have so many Thai people who marry Taiwanese people and they have become the mother. <laughs> <laughs> and they will teach either the Mandarin and also Thai language. And that's good uh -huh. because using the token pen, they can switch whatever language they want to learn uh, right away. And also it's very accurate and very professional pronunciation. And so I was expecting that uh, in Thailand Book Fair or in the future, all the ASEAN market can really share this new technology, especially for the children. You know, children is our hope and our future for the country. And right. yeah, we think habit is very important. 
and getting new information by audio is also a very good way to do that. And to have new knowledge, knowledge and information. Thank you. Well, we, thank you. We can ask Taika to sponsor another workshop. Yes. Is that possible if um, if Sure, uh, no problem. Yeah, in Asian, but I can't organize it yet. <laughs> yes, yes, of course, right? On this part yeah. of the, the topic, I, I think that that will be exciting. Um, uh, let's discuss it at other time, and yes. maybe for ABPA and Pubat, you That's know, right, we'll yeah. be willing to sort of organize and help and display all this new audio technology to mm -hmm. our members. And, um, um, you know, if if the costing is not too expensive because in our region, mm -hmm. it's a uh, price sensitive. So, uh, we right. are price yeah. sensitive uh, consumer and parents still have to struggle after this post pandemic, but we want right. children to have all the opportunities as much as possible too okay um i think our time is sort of up but um i would like to ask both of you to say um one or two one minute each that what is your what is what is your thinking about asian and corporations Okay. okay, I think okay. as you you know that I want I am graduate from Asian Institute of Management. So I have many friends and classmates all around the Thailand, uh, Indonesia, and Philippines, and other country, mm -hmm. India, or Pakistan. So we can have uh, actually this uh, regional cooperation in terms of publishing or the book fair, and that's where we, we can enjoy. Yes, because to some extent, we have a more or less the same uh, development history and also the living situation or condition or all the background. To some extent, we can share the same culture and uh, living habits. So this is a, the best uh, background or information, uh, the information which we can share. So I think I would expect that uh, TIB or in the future, the regional, we can have a federation or some kind of union for all the Asian people, including Taiwan, and we can exchange or participate each country's international book fair, and we share all the technology or the marketing experience or publishing experience, and that's where benefit all the parties. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And what about you, Leo? Yes, I, I think I totally agree with the Robert's uh, point of view. And I believe this uh, alliance, was, once this kind of alliance was formed, and it will be really help to encourage the more uh, exchange uh, among all the countries uh, in the Southeast and Asian, or in the Asian uh, countries. Yeah, And we will be very happy to be led by the uh, Taipei Book uh, Expansion, uh, Bishop Foundations. And from Taika's point of view, we can provide for example, like the Taika school we can provide this uh, talent uh, online school, or from us, we can also provide the technical cooperation or technical support to encourage or to help the ASEAN's uh, uh, publishing industries, peoples, to how to apply to the new technologies in the, in the futures. This is what Taika probably can do and, and probably can help in the futures. That's great, thank you. Then you know, actually, we have no questions, but I will. What I will be doing is that I will send both of you um, the application form uh, for associate member of ASEAN Book Publisher Association. You can be you. our Thank associate you. members and get all the information and contacts from us. I think that how to start the cooperation that will be very nice. We will That's get. We will yeah. be work work closer to each yeah. other. And yes, that will be very nice. Uh -huh. So I am very gratitude that uh, you can start initiate this kind of online <laughs> discussion or take on this uh, online discussion and uh, meetings. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you for both of you for your times and 
your effort and your willing to cooperate with us. And I hope this will be just a start and it will be many more in the years to come. Well, since there's no question, I think we close our webinar now and until the next time. Thank you okay. very much. Thank you. And thank hope you. to see thank you in you. Taipei now. <laughs> That's the year. Uh, I, I hope so. Oh, I I hope so. Anytime. <laughs> anytime. Right. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye.